welcome. This is a recursive derived query and it builds a recursive derived table. And I'm going to show you how to do this. I was at a major airline engine manufacturer and they loved it because if someone said, hey, I need you to build a plane, they could use a recursive derived table to do the bill of lading. And the way it works is it starts with a part or a person at the top of the hierarchy. And then it says, well, what joins to that? And they go, well, this part joins to that. And which parts join to this? What I've done is I've created a nice example of you of a simple corporation and kind of the hierarchy. I'm at the top of the hierarchy, the CEO. About time I got some respect around here. That's what's so nice about creating your books. You can actually give yourself that promotion. Never works in the corporate life though, does it? Now, Tara Tom, CEO, is at the top. Who reports to me? Jane Stevens and Ricardo Gonzalez. They're my VPs of the North and the South. Who reports to them in the hierarchy? Well, Hitesh Patel and Guawe Mumbe report to them, and then each of those have analysts that report to them. That's the hierarchy that I want you to see. Now, we're going to next show you how to build the derived table that's going to be recursive. Stay tuned. I'm going to take this in small steps for you. We're going to build the recursive derived table and we're going to seed the table. So what that means is we're going to put at least one row in the table and that's like planting grass seed and going, hey, it came up, I seeded it. And from that point on, we'll go through a looping process to keep adding to that first row and those next rows. So this is what I want you to see as the very beginning of the seeding. Take a look at what I've got for you in blue with recursive hierarchy DT and they go, oh, this is a recursive derived table that we're calling hierarchy DT. What columns are in that hierarchy DT? And they go, well, we've got emp and last n and first name and manager and depth. Those are the columns. There'll be five of them. Depth's actually a key word. So I've listed my columns separated by their comma as I will seed the table. I want to select the columns from the real hierarchy table where the manager number is null. Now, Tara Tom's the only person that doesn't have a manager number because he's the CEO. People report to him. So there's only one row placed in the derived table right now, and that's called seeding the derived table. Next, we'll see how it loops and joins the rows to Terra Tom. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.